Hello, and welcome to Historical Humans Reads, where we take primary sources and bring them to your screen. I'm Cullum Coleman, and today we are reading from A Shropshire Lad, a collection of 63 poems written by English poet Alfred Edward Hausman in 1896. The poems contained within A Shropshire Lad are typically short and easy to read. They express a love and longing for Hausman's childhood home in Shropshire, and although they sold slowly at first, became readily popular with the young readers of Hausman's day. Today we will be reading poems one through three of A Shropshire Lad. With that, let's begin. Poem one, 1887. From Clee to heaven the beacon burns, the shires have seen it plain. From north and south the sign returns, and the beacons burn again. Look left, look right, the hills are bright, the dales are light between. Because it is fifty years tonight that God has saved the queen. Now, when the flame they watch not towers, about the soil they trod, lads will remember friends of ours who shared the work with God. To skis that knit their headstrings right, to fields that bred them brave, the saviors come not home tonight, themselves they could not save. It dawns in Asia, tombstone show, and Shropshire names are read, and the Nile spills his overflow behind the Severn's dead. We pledge in peace by farm and town, the queen they served in war, and fire the beacons up and down, the land they perished for. God save the queen we living sing, from height to height is heard, and with the rest your voices ring, lads of the 53rd. Oh, God will save her, fare you not, but you, the men you've been, get the sons your fathers got, and God will save the queen. Poem two. Loveliest of trees, the cherry now, is hung with bloom along the bough, and stands about the woodland ride, wearing white for Easter tide. Now, of my threescore years and ten, twenty will not come again, and take from seventy springs a score, it only leaves me fifty more. And since to look at things in bloom, fifty springs are a little room, about the woodlands I will go to see the cherry hung with snow. Number three, the recruit. Leave your home behind, lad, and reach your friends your hand, and go, and luck go with you, where Ludlow Tower shall stand. Oh, come you home of Sunday, when Ludlow streets are still, and Ludlow bells are calling to farm, and lane, and mill. Or come you home of Monday, when Ludlow market hums, and Ludlow chimes are playing, the conquering hero comes. Come you home a hero, or come not home at all. The lads you leave will mind you, till Ludlow Tower shall fall. And you will list the bugle that blows in lands of morn, and make the foes of England be sorry you were born. And till you trump of doomsday on lands of morn may lie, and make the hearts of comrades be heavy where you die. Leave your home behind you, your friends by field and town. O town and field will mind you, till Ludlow Tower is down. This has been an excerpt from a Shropshire lad on historical humans reads. If you enjoyed the video and like to hear more excerpts from original texts, please subscribe to be notified of the next one. If there is a work you would like to hear, be sure to like the video and leave a comment listing it below. Thank you for listening.